So to make that happen, we need to change something else in our webpack config file. And remember, this is right at the root of our project. In here, we want to do the same thing we did for the node native libraries like FS and path. We want to tell webpack to use NADV um, I believe it's lowercase d um, and the way we can confirm this is going back to the store.js file and see how we imported it yeah so it's all lowercase alright so this should be good let me reload the app well first Let's get rid of this index DB. Okay, so it's no longer there. If I reload, we don't have any remotes here. So this is the location for that DB path over here where data path is pointing to, and then we appended the remotes.db file. And you'll notice we don't have anything here because everything was being stored on the indexed DB right on the browser. But we want the package to execute on the node side instead. So this is why we changed the webpack config file. Okay, so this time I'm going to reload the app. And once the app loads, we expect exactly we expect it to create the remotes.db file okay so this time it seems like it worked and no indexed db documents here so let's try once more and actually let me open up this remotes db on the editor okay and let's add alias one back there. You see? Now we are storing our documents in an external file. And something that I consider that is good about this is we could potentially take these um, databases and share them for example we can um, create the remotes and then just pass these files in between instances of heartbeat so you can share which remotes our project is monitoring right another note I want to make here is please notice what happens if I edit this alias Um, you'll notice it created another document here and it put it it appended it to the list or to the file here um, notice that it's the same ID but it has our changes in there this is according to the documents for performance reasons for NADB when you load the database again uh, all those duplicate records should be gone. So let me edit once more just to create another um, record there. Alright, and now let's reload the app. Okay, so the other records are gone and we only need to worry about one of them, uh, which is good. So, cool, let's move on then.